A new Netflix series takes a look at the case of a serial rapist that two Colorado female detectives solved. Mark O'Leary was sentenced to 327 years in prison. That was back in 2011. Now, shockingly, authorities did not believe his first victim and charged her with a crime. I spoke to one of those detectives who says a lot can be learned from this case. 18 months ago, intruder, black mask, backpack, tied her up to the photos. To date, has not been caught. I was just sitting there just, oh my gosh, yeah, like, you know, waiting. I'm like, how does this end? Unlike most people watching Unbelievable on Netflix, Stacey Galbraith knows exactly how this true crime drama ends. I need to be in prison. She and another female detective solved the case of a serial rapist in Colorado in 2011. Had we not got on top of it when we did, we may have had another victim. Galbraith was investigating the rape of a woman who said a man came into her apartment while she was sleeping. Later that night, Galbraith told her husband, who was also a police officer. He immediately said, you know, you've got to get in contact contact with our records department tomorrow. We've had two recent, you know, here in the recent um, past here that th that matches the MO for. Galbraith teamed up with Detective Edna Hendershot. Soon they linked four rapes in Golden, Westminster, Aurora and Lakewood. Each time the suspect covered his tracks, forcing the victims to shower and taking evidence with him. Some of the language that he used, um, some of the acts of the assault were very similar use of photography. Surveillance video of the suspect's truck and DNA ultimately led authorities to Army veteran Mark O'Leary. This was so scary to hear him talk about how many times he was watching his victims without them ever knowing. O'Leary took pictures of his assaults on his victims. One of the photos recovered as evidence was of a teenager living in Washington. I don't have a victim here. Authorities there accused her of lying about being raped. And erroneously charged her with filing a false report. There's a you know a huge campaign on you know believing your victims, listening to them, vetting all the information that they're providing instead of just shutting down an investigation. 